When it comes to buying the domain name for your business, you've come up with this fantastic name for your business. I'm assuming that you've done your keyword research. You know exactly what people are searching for. You've gone through, uh, you know, looking at the intelligence of uh, what your dream clients are typing into Google to find you. You've looked at short term uh, keywords you've looked at long tail search keywords in other words um, you know brand would be a short uh, term keyword uh, and a long term search would be how to build a brand like the name of one of our businesses so I'm assuming you've done all of that already and you're now at the point where you are going to choose your domain name or you're going to go buy your domain name you can buy domain names from so many different places, but one of the places that I have, I've got most of my domain names with is called names.co.uk. And the reason why I love using them as opposed to GoDaddy, and I have bought domains with GoDaddy before, usually because that's the only host and domain name provider that has actually got the name that I want. But I tend to find that, uh, oh, and by the way, that's because they have bought it. So, for example, when we bought How to Build a Brand, um, we bought the How to Build a Brand .co.uk and .org from names.co.uk. But uh, GoDaddy had already bought the domain How to Build a Brand .com. And when we first originally went to buy the domain, GoDaddy had bought it. And we're trying to sell it back to us for, or not back to us, but trying to sell it to us. So I think it was up for $22,000 when we first launched the business. And we just went, nah, sod that, <laughs> you know, we'll, we'll, we'll work it out later. Um, and gradually it went down and down in price. It got to about $1,500 and we said, yeah, sod it, let's just buy it now. So it was part of the asset for the business. But when it comes to, um, you know, going through the process of uh, buying domain names, usually I would do it through um, names.co.uk. And the reason I do that is because they have lots of really good domain extensions. So, for example, you might want to get a dot .global or um, a dot .club or a dot um, .online learning. You know, they've got all these different um, domain endings. Now, you do want to use either .co.uk if you're a UK business or .com if you're a global business or if you're based over in the States, for example. Uh, you do want to usually secure those domains. And you know what? I would just buy all the domains that I could get just to stop anybody else from buying them uh, because it's your brand. That's your asset, right? So if you start trading and then somebody else goes and gets a domain name that looks like yours, then uh, you've potentially lost some business to that person so just buy them all so that it stops any of your competitors from buying them but you know the other thing is around that is that when you have domain extensions that have dot global or anything other than dot code uk dot com you know the usual standard ones then um, there can be filters on people's email uh, accounts that stop those domains from being able to, uh, to to email people. So it goes straight into their spam filter. So if you do use one of the domain names that I'm about to talk about, uh, then you know I wouldn't use it to send your emails. The kind of um, things that I would use those domains for, for example, is when we, uh, we, we don't run Brand Builders Club anymore, but when we did, um, we couldn't get brandbuildersclub.com or brandbuildersclub.co.uk, but we also weren't planning to really grow it, uh, grow it um, through uh, Google. It was a, a club that we were building very intentionally, very purposefully and through word of mouth. So we didn't rank any Brand Builders Club stuff on Google and that was never the point. We grew that within uh, our, our bigger business. So we ended up buying the domain name brandbuilders.club. So that's an example of how you can, if you're not planning to grow the business on Google and you're not planning to use it as an email address, it's a way of being able to point people directly to a domain name that has your brand in the title. So you might have dot training or dot online learning dot club. It might be dot community. So 
if you're not planning to use your email addresses from it and you're not planning to um, uh, show up on Google for that domain, then, you know, it's a good way of doing it when you've got a product, for example. So like Brand Builders Club was a product. It wasn't it wasn't a business when we first launched it anyway. It went on to become one. But um, that was, you know, a few years down the line when we realized actually it had the potential to grow a lot bigger. And so we we did other things with the domain. But another example is um, we used to run uh, brand building boot camps. And so we went and bought the domain www.brandbuilding I think it was brandbuilding.bootcamp but we also had brandbuildingbootcamp.com so we went through all of those but it was just easier when we were on uh, podcasts and when you're speaking especially if you're going to be speaking a lot um you might want to get a dot me so um book sammy.me or something like that you know so I like names.co.uk because it has lots of different extensions um Like I say, don't use it for your email. Don't use it to try and rank yourself in Google. You could do, but it's just harder to do that, especially if you're, um, you know, in the UK and your UK business and you're using a dot global domain name. It's just going to go straight into people's spam filters. You want to use your dot co dot UK email address and build your brand around the actual website that like the main Um, website domain that you choose you want it to be something that can be found if it's something that you want to grow and you want Google to be uh, recommending you and driving traffic to you Um, whereas if you're if you've got a product and you're just using it to put it on a postcard so for example um, with our our old how to build a brand um, dot com domain um, you know, if I was speaking on a summit and I said yeah come and join us on a boot camp and the host would say oh what's the link to that well, of course, people are driving, so they can't th- write down the link. So you've got, you want to use something that's catchy. And so instead of, um, yeah, go to www.howtobuildabrand.com forward slash brand building bootcamp, which is huge. How can anybody remember that? We went and bought the domain brandbuilding.bootcamp. So all you need to do is go to brand uh, www.brandbuilding.bootcamp. It was so much easier to remember. And, and so that domain, we then had our developer redirect it so that that domain when they typed it in it just redirected to our main website to that page on the website so that that's a way that you can use really good domains to be able to drive them to your existing website of course you know you for your main business and your main website i would just recommend using a domain name that's in alignment with what people are actually searching for on Google to find what you provide. So use that and that be, you know, the business name, but then you can use any of the domain extensions that, uh, you know, so you might get um, .tv or you, uh, if you, if you're going to have a TV show or you might get um, dot, um, (laughs) I'm just trying to think of other things like dot office, um, dot, community.club so anyway there's some ideas for you if you've got any questions about this then please put them in the comments below but like I say unless somebody else has got the domain that I want and they've bought it and I'm having to buy it through that provider I usually go to names.co.uk I just find that they're the best and I can keep everything in one dashboard and it's very, very easy uh, for me to be able to go in and and upgrade my domains or switch them or divert them, redirect them. As I just said, you can redirect them to your main website. So when someone clicks on it, they go through then to that particular area of your website. Anyway, got any questions, put them in the comments below. Otherwise, have an amazing day and we'll see you next time.